All right, I hope the sun isn't too bright over here and I'm distorting everything, but uh, I'm sure it's okay. Oh God, the reflection of the light on the my phone is blinding me, but hopefully you guys are not having any issues. Okay, so we're at the other gym that I was talking about with the lap pull down machine. I am very excited about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm very excited about it. I have been thinking about this uh, machine uh, for days. Um, I never thought that I'd like obsess over a machine like that. I do think about like the adductor machine and how I wish my gym had it. I actually don't know if they have it here. If they have it here, I might do a little adductor work as well. But yeah, you'll see what I'm talking about if you saw the video a few days ago. Um, with that machine and then you'll see what I'm talking about when I actually go in there and do my own little uh, workout um, So I am on in a bit of a time crunch again And this time it is my fault because I had to drop my dog off at my girlfriend's parents place But then she has a bunch of medication because she's like 15 years old um, But I forgot all the medications I have to go back home pick it up drop it off Luckily, I have an elliptical at home and I did my cardio this morning so I can do my cardio separate from the gym. I'm just not a big elliptical fan because I've mentioned this before. My feet go numb after about 30 minutes on the elliptical and I was on it for about an hour, but I really wasn't going too intense because my legs are still killing me after that eight hour day valentine's day brutal day at work uh and the brutal leg day i think doing those squats to failure really did me in which is kind of an eye opener i think i need to definitely start doing squ when i do squats do them to failure because the sensation afterward afterwards is uh unmatched when it comes to doing any exercise to failure um so yeah i in what what today's back day so in two days when i squat again if i can um i will be squatting to failure again i will no longer be acting like a little mm, baby I'm not gonna say the other word <laughs> um yeah so i won't be acting like a little baby and uh, going to, you know, until I'm uncomfortable, I'll go until I, I fail. <clears throat> because it's easy to do with other exercises. It's not as scary. You don't have weight on your shoulders, you know, pushing you towards the ground like that. Um, but my car is so dusty. I got to get a little duster and dust away. Um, so... One thing I was thinking about today um, is positivity. Um, like when I get negative comments, like one aspect, when I get negative comments, you can take it one of two ways. Oh, you can take it many ways. You can let it affect you or you can just move on, laugh it off, whatever. You can let it ruin your day. You can really think about it a lot or again, doesn't matter. People will say whatever they want online, but then when it comes to face-to-face -face interactions, they're, they're not going to act like that big of a dick because people don't usually act like that. Um, <clears throat> but when I'm talking about positivity, uh, I'm talking about your own positivity um, of your outlook. So it's hard to stay positive. I mean... I personally, I try to stay as positive as possible. I try to stay lighthearted. You know, I'm a pretty like sarcastic person. Um, but I have moments or days or, you know, extended days, weeks where I just get sad or whatever. But for the most part, I try to stay pretty positive. Try to look on the bright side. Try to have faith in humanity. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I... Oh, I don't want to get distracted. So, um, 
but I, I've been having a lot of nosebleeds lately because the cold air is cracking the inside of my nose. I've had what four nosebleeds in the past two days, two, three days. Anyways, positivity. So yeah, I'm just trying to stay as positive as possible. Um, especially as of late, um, you know, with the new job, I have to be a lot more social, which, um, is, a, is, is a, has a positive impact on me because when I'm social, I try to cheer people up around me. Um, you want to kind of be able to brighten their day rather than darken their day. You know, you don't want to be a dark shadow on their day. So try to, I, I try to have that, uh, mindset of you want to be not just, not like the high point of someone's day, but you want someone to leave their interactions with you feeling better about you or about their day in general. Um, and it's not just that it's like these videos. I'm, when I make these videos, I want someone who watches the video whether they're trying to lose weight, trying to gain muscle, you know, trying to change their diet, whatever. I want them to kind of at least be like, oh, that was a pleasant video, you know, or, you know, that's kind of boring, whatever. They move on. But hopefully if you watch it at least a decent way through, it leaves a positive impact on you. Uh, I'm not here trying to talk anyone down. Um, I'm trying to help build you all up as uh <clears throat> hopefully you are trying to build yourself up um so yeah i i don't i don't know why i've been thinking a lot about positivity because um a lot of what i watch is very positive and i do believe that if you kind of surround yourself with that positivity it affects you obviously if you're just surrounded by negativity all the time it's going to drag you down um I've mentioned it before. I love watching Outdoor Boys. It's so wholesome and it just makes you feel good inside. Um, but even like, uh, <clears throat> obviously, I watch Sam Sulek. But if you watch Sam Sulek's videos, it's very positive. You know, they call him the Bob Ross of the fitness industry for a reason. And I know uh, a lot of the hate I get is from people saying like, oh, yeah, you're trying to be like Sam Sulek. Listen. Yeah, I, I pretty much took um, inspiration from him when it comes to my video formats. Um, but I don't think Sam Sulek would mind. Because I'm pretty sure he's all about trying to sped, spread positivity in the community, in the fitness community. Um, so then when I hear some people making like negative comments, I'm like, I don't think you understand what his whole purpose is is not just to get huge it's to enlighten you know um sorry my screen is so dirty all right but uh this video is gonna get is getting kind of long so i'm just gonna end it at that try and stay positive uh obviously can't do it all the time but for the most part do your best you know you want to be a happy person you want other people to be happy to have you in their life right okay let's get in there and get on that machine because i've been looking forward to this for a while okay i'll see you in a second okay so this is the lat pull down machine i was talking about i realized you could just like put d handles on the other oh let me So yeah, you can just put like D handles on a regular bar, but I don't know. I feel like it might not be the same thing. So yeah, I was warming up with this. Still felt really good. Ooh. Ooh. 
a lot of stuff going on around me. People cleaning, people working out. So just trying to stay out of everyone's way. But um, yeah, today's warm up was a little quicker than usual. We just did some like uh, negatives for chin ups um, and then some regular chin ups, some push ups and just some like shoulder work. But uh, that will suffice because I did do some stretching and stuff at home um, before and after cardio. So we'll do a few more sets. Okay, something else, something, something else. All right, so my memories of that lap pull-down machine were correct. Uh, it was everything I had wished for. Um, so I might try adding the D-handles to the other contraption, lap pull-down machine at my gym and see how that feels because I'm probably gonna go back to my regular gym for my next back day. And uh, if it doesn't feel the same or like, you know, I feel like it doesn't suffice, I might just come here for most of my back days because it's not too far out of the way. It's like an extra five minutes. Anyways, we're moving on to rows. Uh, when I do this again, I don't lean back too much. I try to stay as close to 90 as possible when I'm pulling because I'm trying to avoid momentum use. Rather, I'm trying to use my muscles. Okay. You see that? I don't know if you, the camera is going to catch those little dimples on the uh, the seat here, but uh, my butt left dimples on the bench. drop set Let's do some, uh, let's do some pullovers. Okay, lot, uh, lot pullover time. I was gonna do it over there on the other cable machine, but it was just so busy over there that I felt like I would just be putting the camera in people's way. So I'm doing it over here. And plus, I'm thinking I might do reverse cable flies um, for rear delts. And that way I can just stay on this machine so we're gonna go pullovers. Again, I try to drop my shoulders down, stick my chest out, and uh, have a slight bend, uh, you know, hinge at the hips.
I think I'm gonna call it that. My lats were really feeling it on that exercise. Blah. All right. Like I said, we'll stay here and do some reverse cable flies. I'll give you a couple angles today. Whew. Okay, I'm pretty fatigued already. Even though I haven't been here that long because I I took out cardio and I'm kind of rushing this workout a little bit so that I haven't been giving myself as much um, rest between each set, but I'm okay with that. Tomorrow I will have all the time in the world to get my workout in. Okay, so I know I've complained a lot in the past about the size of my gym, but I must have forgotten that the size of this gym is actually, might be smaller, but the sheer fact that it's not as open makes it feel smaller. Everything's kind of cramped together, whereas in the other gym, my gym is like a, a big open space. So yeah, layout makes a big difference for all you interior designers out there. All right, angle number two. I don't know what if I'm even in frame or anything, if I'm too close to the camera, but uh, I'll find out when I look back. Ooh, I need to start doing these more often. I don't know what it is about today, but I'm really feeling it. Okay, a few more sets for me, but you'll see me in the change room in just a second. Okay, so I said I look like Simple Jack. Can you hear me? I said I look like Simple Jack last time, but then my friend pointed out, I look more like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. Lloyd Christmas. That was a, an incredible, incredible reference because I agree 100%. But look, also check this out. See what I mean? Steroid box. Every Anytime Fitness, at least around here, has a box for, uh, for steroid needles. Does, does your gym also have that? Or is that just like a Vancouver issue? I mean, Vancouver is very, uh, lenient about drugs you know everything's legal hey you want heroin and clean heroin come get it from us i don't know anyways let's uh let's see what we got going on here god damn these sideburns are really bothering me i look so dumb okay Those are the yield two poses for, for back. Um, again, I do like this gym because there's a mirror. It seems to be like a thinning mirror because in the mirror, I don't think my sides are coming in here. I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna shut up about that. Anyways, make sure you get your workout in. Make sure you do your cardio. 
get some kind of activity in, but uh, stay positive. Try to be happy. Don't let some douchebag ruin your day. You know what I mean? All right. I uh, will see you tomorrow for arm day. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. All right. Bye.